All right, so today we're going to be talking about a very specific issue with the 4.6 liter V8 engine that Ford uses. This engine was very common in the Ford Mustangs from 1999 till 2010. Some of the SUVs also used the 4.6 liter. And with the 4.6 liter V8, if you experience a trouble code for the check engine light and the code is only P0340, um, or you might have other codes as long as they're not related. Um, but for the P0340 code, for any other vehicle, you're almost always gonna go straight to the camshaft position sensor and check it out. If you don't have any uh, test equipment, then most people are just going to go ahead and replace it because it's very common to be that code. Um, the P0340 code is a camshaft position sensor code. However, for the 4.6 liter Ford V8 engine, the most common reason this code comes on is actually, drum roll please, the alternator. Um, it isn't always the alternator, but 90 to 95% of the time, it is the alternator with the 4.6 liter. Reason being, one of the diodes in the alternator goes bad and causes too much AC voltage to go through your electrical system. You have AC voltage and DC voltage. The alternator, um, the alternator starts with AC voltage. It generates, it's a generator. It generates AC voltage. The diodes um, and the circuitry in the alternator convert the AC voltage to usable DC voltage. Um, DC voltage on a good alternator is gonna be 13.5 to 15.3. Um, the specification for most vehicles for AC voltage is less than 50 millivolts. So that's 0.050 volts 0 0.050 volts or less that's 50 millivolts i actually when researching this code for this vehicle kept hearing a hundred millivolts thrown out as a specification but in my head it's still 50 because that's what i was taught at school so 50 to 100 or more is going to be too much ac voltage um, so let's take a look at how we actually test this okay so we're going to get our multimeter and we're going to hook it up to the battery, positive and negative. Okay, and we're going to set our meter to AC voltage. All right, and we're going to check if it's 50 to 100 or more millivolts, then we know that the alternator has failed. Now, this one here, I know it's not a Ford, um, had 12. I'm checking DC right now. Okay, so DC is 14 and a half. That's a good alternator, good DC. Now, here's AC. Um, and this has 12, 13 millivolts, and that's acceptable. If it was 50 millivolts or 100 millivolts or higher, it would be bad. Um, the day that I ran into this problem with the Mustang, my GoPro camera battery died, so I actually had to demonstrate this on a Nissan Frontier, but it's all the same, okay? So you're gonna apply the same principles, just go to the battery on your Mustang and do the same thing I just did, and if you see 50 to 100 or more, millivolts of AC voltage, you know that one of your diodes in the alternator has failed. And it's putting too much AC voltage into your electrical system. And for whatever reason, that camshaft position sensor is the first or most sensitive item to that AC voltage. And that's the first one to say, hey, uh, there's a problem here. Uh, this is I don't like this. So the camshaft position sensor is the first thing to alert you um, besides a possible battery light on the dash that your alternator is failing because it's putting too much AC voltage into your system. And that sensor just does not like that amount of AC voltage. So long story short, with your P0340 code on the 4.6 liter V8, you're going to go to your alternator first and check it. If you see 50 to 100 or more millivolts, replace the alternator. If it was like this Nissan here, and it was 12 to 13 millivolts, then you're gonna to look towards your camshaft position sensor to be replaced. All right, and that is a P0340 code on a Ford 4.6 liter V8 engine. I'd like to thank you for watching this video. Thank you for tuning into the People's Garage. Please like and subscribe.
Thank you and have a great day.